This video includes a paid sponsorship from Span, but more on that later. The initial purchase price of a Tesla Model Y may be quite a bit more than a Honda CRV hybrid. However, when you consider the various savings associated with driving a battery electric vehicle and also available incentives, the true cost of driving a Model Y for five years is likely less than you think. So in a five year true cost comparison, which of these vehicles actually costs less? I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. The Honda CR-V Hybrid is considered a mild hybrid, meaning that it doesn't have a plug and the very small approximately 1.1 kilowatt hour battery pack that it does have can only be charged while driving with a gasoline engine. On the flip side, the long range all wheel drive Model Y offers over 300 miles of EPA rated pure electric range and doesn't have a gas engine spewing exhaust into the environment. But the Model Y does have an initial price premium over the CR-V Hybrid. For example, the starting cost of the long range all wheel drive Model Y before you add any delivery fees, taxes, upgrades, etc., is right under $55,000. If you add in the $250 order fee and the $1,390 destination fee, that gives you a starting purchase cost of just a bit under $57,000, which is quite a bit of money. However, thanks to the recent Inflation Reduction Act, the Model Y now actually qualifies for up to a $7,500 federal US tax credit. So for those who actually qualify for this $7,500 tax credit, that actually makes the Model Y quite a bit more affordable and has the potential to bring that purchase price net after that tax credit to a bit under $50,000 for that long range all wheel drive Model Y. When it comes to the CRV, Honda currently offers a CRV in two different hybrid variants the Sport Hybrid and the Sport Touring Hybrid. However, when you compare features and technology between the Model Y and the CRV, the Sport Touring Hybrid version really is the closest match for the Tesla Model Y, so we'll use that model for our comparisons against the long range all wheel drive Model Y. Now, according to Honda, that vehicle has a starting MSRP of just a bit over $39,000. However, to get a real true purchase cost, I went over to truecar.com. And according to their data, an actual selling price for this vehicle is just a bit over $40,000. And this does include the delivery or destination fee. So without the tax credit, there's a bit over a $16,000 difference between these two vehicles. However, for those who qualify for the $7,500 tax credit, if you subtract that from this price difference, that makes the long range all wheel drive Model Y just a bit under $9,000 more than the CRV Sport Touring Hybrid. However, even a just a bit under $9,000 price difference, that's still pretty significant. However, we need to do some more math and look at the true cost of these vehicles beyond just the purchase price. So in order to get a true five-year cost comparison between these vehicles beyond just that purchase price, we also need to determine the average miles driven, energy and fuel cost, vehicle efficiency, insurance cost, finance cost, maintenance and repair cost, and also the estimated depreciation after five years of ownership. So for my calculations, I'm going to add up these numbers that I just mentioned, and also assume that after five years of ownership, the vehicle is sold private party. However, before I go through all that data, I wanna take a quick break and introduce the sponsor of today's video. Thanks to Span for sponsoring this video. The Span Smart Electrical Panel eliminates the need for a separate hardwired critical loads panel. Using the iOS or Android app, you can easily move circuits into one of three categories like the must-have category, which is given priority during a backup, the nice-to-have category, which will be powered until your battery system reaches a 50% charge, and the not essential category, which is off during outages, allowing you to only use energy where it is needed most and extend your battery backup time. Try to do that with your existing system. To find out more and get a quote for your particular situation, go over to span.io or click the link in the video description. And when you do fill out that form to get a quote, make sure that you put cleaner watt in the comment section so Span knows that I sent you. One big important factor that really influences your five year true cost of ownership for a vehicle comes down to how many miles you drive that vehicle per year. In the US, the average number of miles driven per year varies quite a bit based on age according to the US Department of Transportation, but based on on this data, around 15,000 miles per year seems to be a good middle of the pack number, so we'll go with that for our estimates. 
When it comes to the average electricity prices for the US, those numbers actually vary quite a bit region to region. However, in order to get a basic average of the electricity cost nationwide, I found this data on the US Bureau of Labor Statistics website. And based on the various regions, divisions, and metropolitan areas they have listed here, I averaged out these numbers in this column for February 2023 and came up with an average electricity rate of around 21 cents per kilowatt hour. When it comes to the national average gas prices, according to AAA's website, when this data was pulled, the average cost of a regular gallon of gas was just a bit under $3.46. With those fuel and energy costs in mind, let's now talk about the vehicle efficiency between the Model Y and the CRV. According to fueleconomy.gov, the long range all wheel drive Model Y requires 28 kilowatt hours according to their calculations to drive 100 miles. On the flip side, the Honda CRV hybrid, the all wheel drive version, is able to travel around 37 miles on a gallon of gas and that's for the combined city highway estimate. Next, when it comes to insurance costs, I know this can vary quite a bit from company to company and from person to person based on your driving record. Um, however, I did call my insurance company and get actual quotes for these vehicles. And for the Honda CRV Sport Touring Hybrid, I was quoted a monthly rate of just a bit under $70. And previously I was quoted a rate for the Model Y Long Range All Wheel Drive for just a bit over $102 per month. You can see there that I've extrapolated that out to a one year and a five year cost at these insurance rates. Next, we need to look at finance costs. Now I do wanna make a special note here. I'm not adding up the total sum of all the monthly payments in this calculations. We're just going to talk about the interest that you actually pay. Because once again, for our calculations, we're assuming that the owner sells the vehicle after five years of ownership and extracts the value out of that vehicle, which will account for all the payments that were made because you have paid off your loan and you have value in that vehicle. This cost is just going to include the interest cost of financing each of these vehicles. When it comes to loan terms for each of these vehicles, I'm assuming a five year loan, a 60 month loan at a 6% interest rate with a $4,500 down payment. I went over to bankrate.com and pulled up their loan calculator, which lists the total amount of interest that would be paid on each of these vehicles based on the loan terms that we just mentioned. Next, when it comes to the cost of repairs and maintenance, I know that number can vary quite a bit from person to person because some people will do a lot of maintenance themselves and other people prefer to take their vehicle to the dealership for maintenance. So these numbers will vary quite a bit, but to be fair, I'm going to go ahead and use data from Edmunds.com for the CRV and the Model Y and use the numbers they came up with. Edmunds doesn't have data for the 2023 Honda CRV hybrid, but will use data for the 2022 model year. And they estimate that after five years and 75,000 miles, maintenance for this vehicle will cost a bit over $5,300 and repairs will cost just a bit under $700. When it comes to the Model Y, once again, Edmunds does not have data for the 2023 model, but for the 2022 model year, they estimate that once again, after five years and 75,000 miles, that repair cost will be somewhere around $2,100 and maintenance will come to just a bit over $2,400. $400. The last big piece of data that we need before we add all these numbers up and get our true cost of ownership is vehicle depreciation because once again, we're assuming that you sell these vehicles, each of these vehicles after five years and extract the value out of that. So depreciation will play a big part in the true cost of ownership. Now, unfortunately, the CRV did not come in a hybrid version five years ago. So we have to actually use a few pieces of data to get our estimate. However, in 2020, Honda did offer a CRV hybrid model and the touring model had an original starting purchase price back in 2020 of just a bit over $37,000. Using data from kellybluebook.com, you can see that they estimate right now that the private party resale value of that vehicle is just a bit over $30,000. So if you do that math, after roughly three years and 75,000 miles, this vehicle has lost nearly $7,000 of value or around 19% of its value. However, once again, that's only for three years of ownership. Ownership, we really need to look at a five year ownership span to get a more accurate comparison. So if you pull up a 2018 CRV touring model, once again, a hybrid was not available, but just the regular touring CRV back in 2018, that vehicle had a starting purchase price of just a bit over $35,000. And according to Kelly Blue Book's data, using that private party resale value, that vehicle has lost approximately 28% of its value after five years and 75,000 miles. When it comes to the Tesla Model Y, once again, that vehicle has not been out for five years. But if we pull up the 2020 Model Y, the long range all wheel drive version, which had an original uh, purchase price of just a bit over $51,000. Once again, using private party value estimates from kellybluebook.com, you can see that after three years and 75,000 miles, 
that vehicle has lost around 26% of its value. However, once again, we need a five-year estimate here, not a three-year estimate. So I went ahead and pulled up data once again for comparison for a 2018 Model 3 long range version, which had a purchase price of just a bit over $50,000. And according to Kelly Blue Book and the private party resale value, that vehicle has lost around 34% of its value. So using that data, I'm going to estimate that in five years and 75,000 miles, that the Honda CRV hybrid sport touring all wheel drive vehicle will lose around 28% of its value. And then the Tesla Model Y after that same period of time will lose around 34% of its value. So now that we have all that data gathered together, let's now move over to our calculations, starting with the long range all wheel drive Model Y, and let's get the true five year cost, not only the total cost, but also the uh, cost per mile. So for the Model Y, when you add up sales tax, energy costs, insurance costs, finance costs, maintenance and repair costs, and also that 34% loss of value or the depreciation of that vehicle, you can see that that gives us a five year cost of ownership of just a bit under $47,000, or around 63 cents per mile. However, a lot of people watching this video will qualify for that $7,500 US federal tax credit. So if we actually subtract that $7,500 credit from these calculations, that brings us to a five year cost under $40,000 or around 53 cents per mile. When it comes to how this compares to the Honda CRV, once again, the sport touring all wheel drive version, once again, adding up all those same factors, we get a five year total cost of ownership of just a bit over $37,000 or around 50 cents per mile. So you can see in our comparison here, for those who do not qualify for the $7,500 tax credit, there's around a 13 cent per mile difference between the Model Y and the CRV hybrid, um, the Model Y being more expensive there. However, with the $7,500 tax credit subtracted, the Model Y only costs approximately three cents more per mile over the CRV. Now I'll come right back to that price difference, but I did want to point out that owners probably need to go ahead and factor in the cost of installing a wall charger for their Tesla as well, because it's going to be a lot more convenient to have a level two charger and not try to charge your Tesla Model Y on a 120 volt outlet. You can do it, but it's going to be a lot more convenient to have a level two wall charger. So for instance, right now, if you go to Tesla's website at shop.tesla.com, you can buy a wall connector for $425. And Tesla estimates that the cost of a straightforward installation of these chargers can cost around $750 to $1,500. So once again, this is an important cost to keep in mind when it comes to owning a Tesla. You'll probably want to get that wall charger. Now let's go back to those costs. So once again, for those who qualify for the federal tax credit, the difference between the CRV hybrid and the Model Y was only around three cents per mile. However, beyond just the US federal tax credit, make sure that you check for local incentives as well, because for instance, some US states offer some pretty substantial uh, programs for EVs that really make them even more affordable. Tesla does have a page on their website with a great resource where you can actually find links to the various programs in your state. And I'll link to that in the video description. But just as a random example, California right now has a clean vehicle rebate project that they're doing. And while the amount of this rebate does vary based on various factors like income and number of people in your household, for two random examples that I pulled up, this rebate program could actually end up offering around $7,500 of incentives. So once again, make sure that you check for local incentives like this one, which can actually make a huge difference when it comes to the math and the affordability of an electric vehicle. Because when you take into account uh, big incentives like this, this could make the Model Y actually at cost parity with a CRV hybrid, or maybe for some people, if you have solar on your roof or you pay less for electricity, et cetera, you might actually find out that the Model Y could be for you cheaper after five years of ownership. Once again, I recommend that you check all this out for your exact situation and do the math for yourself. But as you see, owning a Tesla Model Y, an all electric Tesla Model Y might be more affordable than you may have thought. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I wanna say once again, thank you to Span for sponsoring this video. And also thank you to all of those of you who support me on Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and it really does help make these videos possible. I do wanna say that if you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work uh, through Patreon, I'll put a link to that in the video description. Thank you so much.